Hello and welcome to episode nine of the Jcation podcast. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some updates to our Arizona Grand Canyon Sedona trip, as well as part one in a two-part series about Yosemite National Park. Hello and welcome back to the show. Sorry we're a little late. We've been so busy with school and yeah, just other things. We have been. So, oh, by oh, my name, yeah, names. We're okay. We're out of (laughs) practice now too. My name is Jacob, and this is my co-host. Yeah, my co-host slash co-star. Yeah, you gotta call me co-star. That's right. So, um where we last left off, we kind of introduced that or announced that we're heading to uh, the Grand Canyon and Sedona and Swaharo National Park. Yeah, that's such a We got to get the right state. pronunciation. Right. Um, so do you want to talk about what we're doing with that? Uh, well, we have, I've been making some reservations um, just because I'm the one with the credit card. So um We've made some picks. Uh, we're gonna for the first time, I think ever, we're gonna stay in a national park. Mm-hmm. Um, we're just doing that for one night because that's when we're gonna be at the Grand Canyon. But I've made reservations at the. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to say it. In fact, I had to call them. It's like, Yafat Yaf. Oh my gosh, Yafat. <laughs> I can't say it. Yapate, Yapate. <laughs> oh wow, this is embarrassing. I don't know. Anyway, we're staying on the South Rim in Grand Canyon Village. Um, and yeah, I made the reservation late at night. Um, accidentally made it for that same night. So you know, I was putting in the dates, and I forgot to change them and then all of a sudden I got this reser- this um, email saying oh nope you can't make any changes to this reservation and it was for that night and here it is like 10 o'clock at this time when I made the um, reservation and I'm like oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god so luckily I called them they answered the phone and they said oh Yava Pai that's yeah. how they say it now Jacob pulled it up so I can read it Yava Pai Lodge and I said oh my gosh um help and then the lady even said oh I just saw that come through and I thought that was really odd that someone would make a reservation this late and I and so she kindly changed it for me um we've decided to stay two nights in Sedona and um I can't remember where we're staying there this is very (laughs) unorganized I apologize but anyway we're doing two nights there and then we're doing one night in Tucson on the way back um so we'll be staying somewhere there I haven't actually made a reservation there yet we have lots of Hilton points and I've been looking at stuff but we haven't been able to just and we've been upgraded to diamond yeah we've been upgraded to diamond status I don't know if it's because of the success of our podcast yeah I'm sure I'm sure that's why (laughs) anyway we are uh we're still looking in that um to see where we're gonna stay in Tucson but we've got that coming up in less than a month thank goodness yeah we need it we're ready to be done we're ready to be on a little trip that's right that'll be exciting okay so should we start talking about yosemite yeah or going to yosemite rather okay so we left off we just finished our sequoia kings canyon day Mm -hmm. and we're now back in three rivers california uh, on the south side of sequoia so now we have to drive up to uh, Yosemite National Park. And you can talk about this because I never know where we are. Oh, okay. In any of these. Okay, so we left and we headed for Fresno because that's the fastest way to get to the park. And, um, you know, it was kind of just an uneventful drive. I don't really remember much from it just because it was uneventful. Um, but we did stop in Fresno and eat at another In-N-Out, 
which is always really good. Uh, that was our second one of the trip. And then we headed north on Highway 41 uh, towards Yosemite and towards the little town of Oakhurst. Um, drove through that. And then it's like, so it took us about three and a half hours, not counting our, um, not counting our trip to In-N-Out to finally arrive at Yosemite National Park. What's Oakhurst? You said that, but I don't remember what that is. A town. Oh, okay. Did we stop there? <laughs> no, I just oh. said it was a small town. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So we kept on going. We finally get to the park. And so it was like, we drove in, went through, and we had, oh, we had to get reservations. Oh, right. For this. Um, now, do you remember how early we had to do these? Well, I think it advance? was the first day of the month in which you were going. Was that what it was? Or I don't know. I, I can't remember, honestly. I, it seems like it was the first day of the month in which you were going. So we had to July 1st get these. Does that not seem right to you? Uh, I thought it was earlier than that. But, oh, okay. Um, um, it may have been like three months in advance or something. It? Wow, okay. Yeah, it, I think it was pretty early. It was later than Zion, but I think that's been done away with and they may have changed it. So it's like our information, not that we seem to have a lot. Is oh my not goodness, very, yeah, we're kind of a mess today. Is not um, very valid, so. Well, the thing about it is um, they said that you had to come to the park the day that you had the reservation yeah they were very strict about so that. they were so we had to i mean we were planning on going there anyway but it was kind of like we've got this reservation we have to keep this reservation we can't we have to at some point during this day drive through the gates of yosemite to get in there and uh for our ticket to be our, valid right for the ticket to be valid had we waited another day even though we had the reservation for an entire week they made it sound like it was going to be void if we didn't get there that day so we did um what we came in a different entrance into yosemite that day didn't we the southern entrance oh uh, so the mariposa Grove. by mariposa grove so there's like a little roundabout and we'll talk about that on the next episode but the Mariposa Grove is another giant grove of sequoias mm -hmm. that's in Yosemite. Um, and there's, there, I mean, there's groves outside Sequoia, of course, and there's, right. there's quite a few in Yosemite, Mariposa being the most popular, but there are other ones too that are not as popular, but just right. as spectacular. So, so this, this entrance that we came in this time was the only time we would use that entrance, I, I believe, right? Yes. How many entrances are there to Yosemite? Like three or four? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, so moving on, we started to drive and it was like, I mean, it wasn't like. It, it's not immediately spectacular. No, say. it was just another drive through the mountains, which we'd been doing for a long time. Yeah. So it was like, okay. Yeah. And when you think of Yosemite, you automatically just think of the valley. And um, I mean, that's what I think. Like anytime you see any pictures that are just of Yosemite, they're usually valley pictures. So we were far from the valley when we went in there, um, just heading along. Um, it was kind of burnt. It had been burned. Yeah, there was some burn damage uh, left um and there have been pretty bad fires before yeah. we had gone so we saw some of the results of that yeah. so we kept on driving and we wanted to go see the valley uh, we passed the road for um glacier point yes we did and then so it's like the anticipation starts to build that oh you know you're getting closer you're getting closer uh, you know, you're trying to look at the little national park map that they give you and watch out for all these little points to see, right. you know, how close you are. And then you come up on a tunnel. Right. And this was cool. And it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like a perfect 
opening to what you're driving into is a tunnel and then you come out of it and it's like there is what you think of and it oh my gosh it is so you come out of it and it's like yes so it's like called tunnel view tunnel view right outside um no i (laughs) while we were going through this i tried to explain that it is going to be an immediate left once we get out of the tunnel to go into the parking lot so we can watch or you know just see it and take it in before we start going into the actual valley well and then that didn't work out well what what's funny is i'm always like oh i think oh this is gonna be so perfect i'm gonna film us well with my phone i'm gonna have these great videos of us driving through this tunnel and then opening up to the tunnel view and we're all gonna see it at once we're gonna be like oh wow and so when we get the video back it's jacob saying make him a left make a left make a left at the end of the tunnel make a left make a left make a left and all of a sudden we're out of the tunnel and they keep and on driving don't. straight and i'm like oh my god we're trying to- so we don't make a left my husband was driving and then you hear jacob go i said to make a left and him saying i didn't know and i'm just like oh man this is like the first time that we're doing this and here's me with my oh this is gonna be so great i'm gonna have the coolest video yeah so if we instead we have us screaming at each other but that's probably a lot more uh that's more accurate you need to (laughs) you should send me that video and i'll take out the audio and put some pretty music over it or something right instead of us like yelling yelling at each other so if you see that on instagram there's a little behind the scenes of turn left (laughs) yes and then being like i didn't know well i've been saying it but you know that's what? okay it's always a story with us yeah what are you gonna do whenever we travel there's always something yep okay so we got started to go down and you know you pointed this out it's weird that it's like the tunnel view seems really high up yeah and then like all the so- weird and then all of a sudden you're like down on the floor and it's like okay yeah i was just and probably i say this about every park but i was like i was just super turned around the whole time we were there <laughs> I just was never oh my goodness (laughs) I was just like I don't get this like how are we so up so high and then five minutes later we're down so low and how did we get here and I don't know it's just very (laughs) Jacob's like sitting here with his eyes closed like oh my god here she goes again but I just did not I'm sorry I didn't get it (laughs) okay well (laughs) anyway yeah so we pulled over and parked at the bridal veil falls parking lot just because we wanted to get out since we didn't get out the first time um so this is one of the many spectacular waterfalls in the valley Mm -hmm. um so we got out and the trail was closed but we did get to go kind of close and see it yeah I mean, it was just, it's so cool just to see. And that's called Bridal Bridal Veil Falls because it kind of like, it it doesn't just go straight down. It almost kind of comes out a little bit. It like blows out like a veil. Oh yeah, it it goes everywhere in the wind. Yeah, it was really, really pretty. And I mean, it's not like a raging torment. It is a stream that's coming off of this so i mean it can blow around pretty easily so we keep on driving and it's just like views for days yeah it's you're it's hard to believe you're there when you're really there yeah i mean it looks fake yeah it really does in fact we got some when we were posting on instagram from there people are like this looks like a postcard this is or this looks fake and it's like well you know it is it's it's another it's kind of a dizzying place again you're just like you just don't know where to look there's so much going on yeah for sure so then so we're traveling along the merced river you know we'll get out and stop every once in a while and then there was this one like open meadow that we stopped at Mm -hmm. and it was like oh my gosh you just walk along this boardwalk yeah and all these thousands of feet you know tall granite walls are just surrounding you the tallest waterfalls on the planet some of them and really well yeah wow so it's just like 
oh my gosh, just, just absolutely incredible. And it was, yeah, I started crying, of course, because, <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just, it was, it was awesome. It's yeah. like, wow, I can't believe we're here. Yeah, it's very spectacular. And seeing this, so um, then we headed for the visitor center and the gift shop and the little store <sighs> where we would be spending well much of our time yeah every day <laughs> well i love a gift shop and i could go well the th okay you even admitted this the other day we were talking about it how that place was so busy and so many people were buying such st things that like every day they had different things i mean it was like oh oh, I like this shirt. And then you come back the next day and it would be sold out, but there would be something else. And I mean, it was like a hop in store. It was also a, not just a gift. Well, it was a gift store, but there was like groceries in it. Yeah, it was like a little town. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're staying, there are lots of campgrounds and things in the Valley. So if you're staying there, that would be where you would buy everything. It was a really cool store. Like just something that I, you know, could totally get behind all the time. And yes, Jacob said we went there every day. He's correct. We I did. Just like, well, and it wasn't like, I mean, we were buying, we were buying some things there. I mean, we bought things to eat and stuff, I think, there, didn't we? I don't know. Yeah. I think we got, well, we'll talk about it later. Um, so the Awani Hotel is in this area, and this is like the whole Yosemite Village um, area with there's places to eat um I mean it really is like a little town there's like a dentist's office in there yeah. and it's like okay this is I mean it's just weird there is a U.S. district courthouse that's in there yeah oh and the thing about this was when we were walking it was like everything was so hidden by these trees and stuff you would never know that there's this whole little town nestled in this valley yeah I mean, we were like, this is kind of cool because we parked in the parking lot and then we were walking. It's like, okay, now where exactly are we going? I mean, we learned later there was another parking lot right by the store, but it was just this whole little, just, yeah, this awesome little town right in the middle of this valley. And when you're up on, I don't even think ever, when we were ever up high, we could ever see any of those things, could we? Well, at least your point, we could, but oh, okay. other than that, we couldn't. Yeah. So, yeah, that grocery store, I mean, it had everything. It had merchandise, food, yeah, whatever you could get there. So, I mean, there's just, if you need to go somewhere, I mean, just go there. Right. It's close. It's, go there every day. That's what I do. It's it's convenient. Um, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. I just, what can I add to that? I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Just, well then okay so then it's we, kind of weird so we got a this was where we had a vrbo this mm -hmm. time so we had to make it over to our to our place yes um so we left yosemite valley um said goodbye to it for now because we'd be back uh the next day um so we left on the el portal road and um it's got kind of a cool entrance exit out of yeah, the park. I don't know what direction was that. What entrance was that that we were leaving from? Well, middle east or middle west, oh, I guess. Yeah. Because there's lots. So just the highway 140 is what you're looking for. Um, and that's from the town of Mariposa. Right. So at so, the entrance of this is like a little, there's like an arch rock thing that you drive under mm -hmm. to get into the park. But, you know, that's kind of fun that that's where that, where the park starts and ends is right there. Yeah. Um, so we drove out of it um, and we're on this two lane highway, which we would come to get to know very well. <laughs> I already know what story you're going to tell about me. Awful driving. No, I wasn't going <laughs> to. Uh, I mean, we were f probably like an hour, 45 minutes out. Yeah. I mean, from the valley, a good hour, I would say. 
to our to our cabin. Um, otherwise, just from the gate itself, probably thirty to forty minutes. Um, we were near the town of Mariposa, right? Yes. But um, we rented this place on VRBO or Burbo. Um, when I found it on there, it said that it was owned by a couple of people who were had been rangers at Yosemite. So we were like, well, that's kind of that's kind of cool. It was a really nice little, um, I guess you would call it a cabin house kind of thing. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, we had a. It was spacious. It was nice. Um, we spent four nights there. I think so. Four. Okay, four. Yeah. So um, it was just, it was a good place. It was when I had looked at um, rental properties around there, um, you do have to stay a little farther out, of course, again, to get uh, something that's affordable. Um, it was hard to, I don't know, things were like, would say they were at Yosemite and then they would just, then if you looked at a map, you'd see that they really weren't. Um, but I would say town-wise, Mariposa was a good place to stay. Um, it was really just hard to find something that was within driving distance. I mean, a doable driving distance that you'd want to do every day. Our plan was to go into Yosemite every day, and we did. But um, some of those would just list, yes, we're part of Yosemite, but it would be like a two-hour drive. We didn't want to do that. So um, this was a good, that's a good place to stay. Cute little town. We didn't really see that much of it. Well, we drove through it, but uh, that was during quarantine and all pretty much everything was, you know, to go and things like that. So we didn't really do a whole lot there. We, but this cabin had full kitchen. So we did. Yeah. We just went and got our groceries yeah. and didn't really. That's true. But it seemed like a nice little town. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so our cabin was, I, I thought it was really nice. It was, it was small. It was like the perfect size. And we just, you know, you were, you and dad were on one side and Ben and I were on the other. Yeah. As far as how the place was laid out. So it was a nice little, it had three bedrooms, I think. Didn't you each have your own room? Yes. Yeah. And we had good stargazing. Oh, yeah, it was really dark there. And that was the same time that that comet, or that ne was it Neowise? Was that what it was called? I, th I don't know, something like that. I think it was a comet, too, which we could actually end up, we ended up seeing it, which was really cool. From there, yeah, we could see it very yeah. faintly, but. Yeah, last summer there were tons of pictures on Instagram of all these national parks in the dark and all these people like taking these, well, time lapse photographies of photographies <laughs> photographs of this um comet that was just over um just you could see it over everywhere over everywhere but people would take these really cool pictures of it um in parks and stuff so we were in yosemite when we saw it well outside of yosemite okay so um that wraps up our day it was pretty much just driving yeah and getting the lay of the land of Yosemite and learning about the weird village that's in there. Mm -hmm. But the next day we had our mission mm -hmm. was to go to the very popular Mist Trail. Right. Um, so we drove into the park and, uh, well, we'll talk a little bit about that drive because it's like, you. I don't know what it is with like our drives in between our cabins and national parks, but people do not want to drive the speed limit. Oh yeah, never. It's like normally people are speeding everywhere and, but no, when we're driving into a national park, we are going to try as slow as humanly possible. Not us, everyone else. Yes. And there was one, and there was this one part where it was like a one-way bridge and we had to, it was like, on the last day, we were like, oh my gosh, because we had to stop every time and wait for traffic. It's like, 
on the last day, it's like, we're going to get to go straight through and not have to stop, right. which I think that's what we ended up, ha ended up happening. I don't even remember. But it, yeah, it just, it just took a while. I mean, it was fine, but we made it through. Yeah. So we probably left kind of early because I think we wanted to get a good start on this day. Yeah. So um, we drove under the little table or the, the table, the little arch rock thing mm -hmm. and back into the valley for a second time. Um, and we headed for, uh, well, we saw there, they had little signs up for the mist trail um, parking lot, which was right by the Curry Village, which is a kind of another little thing. Um, so we parked and got out and we had to walk a while to get to the trailhead. Right. But this was like the designated parking for the mist trail. <laughs> and that it was like walk that curry trail it was like they had all these tents up. Do you remember this? I do. And it was like tent city. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't know if anyone ever watches the Gilmore girls, but if you've seen the one where Logan takes Rory to the life and death brigade thing. Jacob doesn't know, but um, that is what this looked like. It was, um, it was all these white tents and just very interesting kind of a weird place. Um, I do want to say before we start talking about this mist trail that I am glad I had not read anything about it prior to this. <laughs> Jacob was just like, let's do this. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to say right now that I was glad I hadn't read about it because I probably would have been like, I am not doing that. So if you're going to do it, just, you can do it. If I did it, anybody can do it. But so did I just give it all away? Well, no, I, I was going to say that um, the tent city reminded me of like uh, in the Goblet of Fire, the Harry Potter. Oh yeah, it was like the wizard. Book and movie. It's like before the, the Quidditch World, World Cup. Yes. It's yeah. like all these tents everywhere. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. So we made our way to the Happy Isles um, thing, the uh, trailhead. Happy Isles? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh. And so we started our, our little hike, our yes. cute little hike. Up. Yeah, super cute. Okay, so we're going toward... We're like crossing over this like waterfall, basically. Like that's where I'm, that's what I'm seeing. I, I, we're going to Vernal Falls. Vernal and Nevada Falls. So on the mist trail and distance is vary based on whether you're doing it like going back one way or like, so it's just like, there's all kinds of numbers that you can put up. And so they're on the Vernal Falls is the first one and you can stop there or you can keep going to Nevada Falls which is up even higher and further right and so, then make your way down and this is also the way up to Half Dome so if you're going if you're going all the way up to Half Dome this is the way you go I cannot imagine anyway um Mist is spelled M-I-S-T in case you're wondering and the reason being is because there's all of these falls coming down and you're gonna get wet depending yeah. on the time the time of year we didn't get all that wet um but we watched a video on youtube of these people going to half dome and they were like soaked by yeah. on this trail okay so you start going up and up and up and up and it's paved it is paved which is kind of nice so that's a hint that it's like a popular trail mm -hmm. And there were lots of people on it. Yes, there was plenty of people. And so the day we were there because of COVID, there was like all these, um, sorry if you hear background noise, our neighbor is mowing obnoxiously loudly. <laughs> um, so there was one way trails. So basically you had to go up one way and down a different way. Right. So no, but no meeting anyone on the trail, and which I will say is in, nice. Until after two o'clock, oh. then you could start coming. It was just like, okay, you know, like, 
lot, yeah, it was it was very weird, but it was nice not to have to run into all these people. But, well, when the first part you did, but after, yeah, we'll get we'll just get to it because mom will have something to say about it, won't you? Um, so we're walking up and then you get to the Vernal Falls Bridge. And this is your first view of Vernal Falls, which is pretty huge. Mm -hmm. um, so, and there's like a water filling station just a little ways past that. And this is a really pretty hike. It's yeah. uphill. It is. Um, the whole way. Uh, so, and at the water station, this is where the John Muir Trail comes in and meets the Mist Trail. So this is the way that you'll come down if it's this one way thing, which you were thankful <laughs> about. Um, Maybe. Yeah, well, so you're going up and up and it's getting steeper and steeper. And then you get to where it's like the trees open up and there's the waterfall right in front of you. And it's like, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. And there's all the mist, hence the mist trail mm -hmm. is coming off of it. Um, now, if you go earlier in the season, it's going to be a complete torment of mist and water yeah. because of all the snow melt. Uh, we were later in the season. It was still pretty big, but you know, not huge. If you go way late, then it's pretty much a little trickle yes. off. So, you know, if you really want to see the waterfalls in their full glory, you should go earlier, like June, May, June, mm -hmm. some sometime in that time frame. Uh, so, and there's a little sign next to the trail that says top of Vernal Falls, like the brink of where it goes over, 0.3 miles. Now, I'm not sure if they mean horizontally or vertically. <laughs> yeah, that was really odd because to me, 0.3 miles is not very far, but this was like the longest 0.3 miles and it was pretty much straight up. Yeah, so I was ahead of you guys at this point because it was just like, you know, go ahead, you know. Um, so I start going up these stairs. Yeah, that's that's the other part. It's turned from a flat path. I mean, before, I, it's never flat, I, but just like paved path. There'd be a few steps here and there. Now, at this point, it's just like straight stairs. And they're built, they're like rocks. Uh -huh. the stairs and then they're also tall yes they're not like little steps they yeah. are big so it's not like even just normal rise of like a step in your house it's probably 18 i mean i don't know 18 inches probably inches. yeah i mean it's it's not not doable it's just bigger steps every stair is a challenge yeah. to get up it really was and Somebody yelled at you that you were in the picture. Oh, yes. and it so was there's like... all these people like doing these. That's, I mean, I love Instagram as much as the next person, but like, I don't feel I have to do all these crazy poses or whatever. There was somebody who I was like trying to just kind of stand there, have a drink, have a snack, get my breath. And I was in the way of someone posing for their Instagram. Like, and the guy was taking a picture of his girlfriend, wife, whatever, sister, I don't know. But he was like, <laughs> excuse me, you are in our way. Like, and you were there first, weren't you? Like, it was I, just like, I don't think I just walked into their shot. Like I was legitimately standing there huffing and puffing, but she was, you know, being a supermodel and standing out there and he was taking pictures of her and sunset hard hands yeah i was like that taco bell commercial. <laughs> it was ridiculous but i was just like Ugh. so i get up there after a while and um you gotta kind of climb down this dome to get like so you've gone like higher than the falls and then you got to get down this like granite dome that's oh, a yeah. little slippery that was weird and it was like and then you're at the edge of the falls 
and you know i'm in pretty good shape and you i are. think and i was i was like i was i was like tired i was like oh my gosh and then i'm thinking uh oh <laughs> Yeah, here comes the big fat mom. Uh, well, no, I'm not trying to be mean, but it was just like yeah, it was a struggle. It's like, oh God, if this is bad for me, it's like Ooh. yes. Well, my husband and I like usually he's the one ahead of me, being like, come on, you can do it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. This time it was actually me. Being like, <laughs> you had to you drag can do it. Him. I'm like, mom, we got to get up here, and he's just like, I don't think I can do it. I'm like, come on. So we did it. Yay. Meanwhile, I'm like spying you guys. I've got the binoculars oh, yes. and I'm like watching. Yeah, it's always hilarious to hear what Jacob, I saw you guys like sitting down drinking. I saw you guys eating, you know, I saw you guys taking a snack. I saw you guys taking a drink. I saw you guys sitting there panting. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I don't hey. say that. I was just like, oh, I was just watching you guys. Yeah, we're like, hmm. so anyway, we made, we did make it to this Fernal Falls and um it was nice up there and there were like these flat it was kind of like a big flat rocky area yeah um, so like the, it kind of the merced river which is what's going making these waterfalls there's like a flat area and it's like a pool yeah like that you're not supposed to swim in that people were swimming in uh, <laughs> that you know you can sit and relax yeah a um, little bit uh and oh this was uh, th- already gonna say about my job oh well, yeah she's so it's like for the past few days we had been like because we've been in and out of cell coverage because right. we've been in national parks which are not known for their reliable um cell service, cell right? service. i had been i was trying to get a um a new job uh-huh and so they had um the place had called me like while we were in Death Valley, like their number called and then I couldn't answer it. And then I had been like playing phone tag with this guy and I had even left him a message and been like, hey, because I didn't want them to just give up on me. But I had left a message and just said, hey, we're on vacation. I'm in and out of this service and everything. And uh, I had called there before we had left the cabin that morning and just said um I was just trying to catch him yeah but um and then at that point when we got up to the top of this Vernal Falls I looked at my phone and we actually had (laughs) had self-service and he had called me that morning and so I was just like oh well I'm gonna try to call him back so I actually did got a hold of him he offered me this job (laughs) and I'm just it was funny because I'm like you would not even believe where I am right now. Like, I can't even tell you, like, I'm in Yosemite. I just hiked this waterfall. I'm up here. And he's just like, oh my gosh, it sounds amazing. And I, oh yeah, it was, it was funny. And I always meant to take a picture and like send it to him and be like, here's where I was when I got the thing. But I, I never did. But anyway, it was kind of a, it was just a funny story. So we had these pictures where Jacob and I are like making these faces like, what? I got a new job here's where I got a new job so even when we see pictures of Yosemite Jacob's always like hey mom there's where you were when you got your job so yeah so uh we cool. um so on top of Vernal Falls that's right and there's a little thing that you can stand right at where it starts cascading over yeah and then so we sat and ate and yeah. um okay another PSA I mean I talked about this in Zion but we are trying to eat and these squirrels that had been fed too much by humans yes. were kept trying to, I had to like just chew them and poke them away with my hiking. With uh, our hiking stick. Yeah, because I was just like, get away. Get away. So don't feed the animals. Right. They are wild animals and they will not be wild animals. And they will, they will get flat out aggressive. Yeah. And I mean, there's been reports of them eating through backpacks. Oh yeah, they were bean lovers. Yeah, they were. So just you know, don't be stupid. Just yeah. don't feed them. Let them be. Okay, so this next part is where the kids and the parents deviated, went, went separate ways. And um, I'll let Jacob talk first about what he and his brother did. And okay, so what I did not do. So here's what we've got. Um, so you all are pretty tired. 
I want to keep going because I don't, this is just, I'm in my element. This oh, yeah. is, this is my, I love doing this stuff. This is fantastic. I'm, I'm on top of the world right now. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to keep going. And so you have the option to go take this little trail up to the John Muir trail and then go back down, not down the giant staircase of, you know, the huge things doing it backwards because I think that would be the best way to do it you won't want to do it forwards because you'd probably destroy your knees Mm -hmm. um so they're like oh we're doing that we're done like they could see a little bit of Nevada Falls which is the second waterfall so it was like okay we've seen enough so it was like all right well Ben and I my brother we're going to keep going so that's what we did so we crossed the Merced River at Again, and started to make our way up to Nevada Falls and pretty soon we we're on the side or the base of this waterfall and I mean it's it's like 700 feet tall like it's not a little a little thing so we uh we started to go up um some more awesome stairs uh, I will say these are not as extreme. <laughs> yeah, you tell me that now after I like didn't go that way. Um, it was pretty rocky up there. Um, uh, of going up these stairs, but I didn't think it was. I, I, I it was manageable. I thought I didn't think it was too bad. So you kind of go up. You're going back and forth up this wall, and then you get to the top. And this is like, is the highest that you're going to get, basically. Um, Just doing the mist trail and not doing anything else. So then we uh, got to the top of Nevada Falls, and that was really cool to see. I mean, it's just like this little stream, and then you don't see it anymore. It's gone over the edge, over this massive waterfall. And uh, by this point, we saw that a storm was coming in and we're like, "Uh uh-oh, because these, I've read stuff that the the granite domes like attract lightning and all this stuff. So you don't want to be on top of this while a storm was going on. I mean, you don't want to be on a mountain exposed Mm -mm. when there's a storm. So, and there are these people, they're like, oh, wouldn't it be fun? If there was a storm, no, that would not be no, it would not be fun. So we started to, we were like making haste, like coming down because we were trying to do it relatively quickly before the storm came. Now, luckily I'm going to spoil it. It like stalled over the higher peaks of the Sierra and like never really got to us. Uh, So that was, I mean, it rained a little bit, but other than that, it didn't really storm on us at all. So um, just past Nevada Falls is the view that I really wanted to see. And it's just this, you've got, you've got Half Dome and you've got this big, huge rock formation called the Liberty Cap right next to this, next to Nevada Falls, which you can now see all the way because the trail kind of goes along this cliff side, like it's kind of dug through in a cliff. It's really cool um, to be in there. And it's just, oh my gosh, the view was super cool. And it was like, that was what I wanted to go up there and see. So I was like, I was really glad that I did that. So if you're, you know, if you want to keep going, I encourage you to, you know, to do it you know and if you don't that's fine too well martin and i took off from vernal falls and went um on this john muir trail and just headed down um we did actually go up high this way we were like oh this will just kind of wind down another way well no we ended up climbing up quite a bit higher and over these rocks there were some people from like the National Park Service, the Forest Service, I don't know, like building these, like on the trail, they were um, working up there, um, putting in these like, kind of like railroad tie kind of things to hold, you know, to keep, 
to make the trail um, more secure and things like that. So we were like climbing over these things. It wasn't just like a walk in the park on the way down. I mean, I didn't think it would be, but it was kind of like, oh, we thought we were taking the easy way out. Um, yeah, you hiked up to Clark Point okay. and then started going down. Yeah, so we were like up and oh, kind of up and over this other area and then came down. Um, when we came down at the end, we came down to all these switchbacks, which is where you guys would also come down as well. Yeah, so we met you guys at Clark. Well, we didn't meet you, but our trail met your trail mm -hmm. at Clark Point. And then we made our way down the switchbacks. Yeah, what was funny was we were like, oh, we're going to get way down there, like way ahead of these guys. And we're going to just sit down there and we're going to have to wait forever for them. And uh, we were sit we came down to the bottom when we were sitting there and they were probably like 15 minutes. Yeah, 10 or 15 minutes behind us. And we were like, they went you guys we were kind of, I mean we came down that fast because we were worried about that storm yeah so we, we were, were like kinda, booking it down we did take our time coming down and um Martin was pretending that he was like free climbing free climbing and we took these ridiculous pictures where we were like he was pretending that he was like scaling this El Capitan yeah granite wall and we, we were just being dumb and so we were like, well, we're still going to beat them down. And we did, but they came busting down that hill pretty quickly behind <laughs> and us. And you're like, oh, we were hi. Like, oh, we were going to have all this time, but no. I was glad to see them. That's one thing about stuff like this. I'm always, the kids will go one way and we'll go another. And we're like, we know they're old enough, but I always just get really nervous. Like, what if something happens? And I don't know. I'm a weird, I'm a, he's, Jacob's rolling his eyes at me, but that's, I'm always glad to see them after these, like, after we split off, even, yeah. So we, uh, I was kind of starting to run low on water, but luckily there is a water filling station by the Mist Trail yeah. bridge. So if, you know, if you need to refill some water bottles. Yeah, that was another thing I was worried. Are they going to have enough water? Because we were like kind of running out. But Martin and I both have like those backpacks with the the bladders, the bladder in them, which <laughs> isn't that pleasant. It's kind of amazing though. Yeah, um, it does keep it like cool for a long I do, time. I do like that. I'm gonna take it with us when we go to the Grand Canyon. Okay, so anyway, uh, then we hiked back down, um, downhill now, mm -hmm. all the way, which you and I kind of struggle with downhill. Oh, so. Yeah. I, we're weird it hurts my knees yeah so god I sound so whiny in these that's what I feel like I'm always just going Argh. whiny and you don't know where you are I don't know where I am <laughs> I'm whiny but it's all right we do have fun believe yeah, it or we not do. <laughs> I'm always like glad that I've done these things but sometimes like in the middle I'm like why am I doing these things uh-huh but so we got back down uh, walked past uh, Tent City, mm -hmm. and uh, I my watch I think it read nine and a half miles that we had hiked, oh, man. and a lot of vertical feet. Mm -hmm. So I mean that's what that's what we did to go all the way up and then to Nevada Falls and back down. I don't know what it was for you. Yeah, less than that. Mm -hmm. So. You know, if you're going to do that, I'm guessing nine and a half is the total from the car all the way up. Oh, okay. So, um, and that was the designated parking lot. So then we headed back to the store. Yay, store. Yes, which, you know, was like. I probably bought some wine or something. Yeah, because you're like, I'm going to treat myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah. was hard. I'm going to go, you know. I well, know. I mean, but well deserved. I'm not, I'm not like dissing on you or anything. But, like, yeah, you deserve it. So, uh, yeah, we stopped. We stopped at the store, picked up some merchandise, mm -hmm. and the then, pie. uh, we, you know, it was like we still got plenty of time, so we thought we'd explore some of the little, like, not walk very far flat stuff. Um, so we went to uh, Yosemite Falls, which um, it was running, but it wasn't like 
huge. Mm -hmm. So um, this is like the second highest waterfall in the world, or tallest, I should say. Um, and it's oh, a couple thousand feet. Yeah. Um, there's a trail that I one day like to do that goes all the way to the top. Uh, oh. oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Amber, Amber alert. alert. <laughs> um, okay, so we're all laughing. We hike, yeah, we shouldn't laugh at that. We hike down uh, along this flat trail just to the bottom of the waterfall, and you could see it. And it was very clear that this whole area like gets all flooded when all the snow melt comes down. And, uh, but it was like pretty much dry when we were there. I mean, I'm glad we saw it. Yeah, but it was, it was. It was very just, yeah, we can. Sorry, couldn't... I, <laughs> I was out of the room for a second and I sounded all echoey. Yeah, so we were just, uh, we saw it, it was cool. Got a couple of cool pictures and we walked back. It was just, um, it was kind of neat. So on the way back to the car, uh, everybody, where there's some people like stopped mm -hmm. and they're like, what are you looking at? So during COVID with everybody like out of the valley for a while. Yeah, because Yosemite was closed. All, some of the bears mm -hmm. and other wildlife had returned and we saw our first Yosemite bear Yay. in uh, the valley. It was kind of, you could see it, you know, kind of walking through the bushes and mm -hmm. a black bear yeah so we'd end up seeing three more bears in yosemite actually which a lot of people don't see a bear in yosemite yeah so that was it was really cool to see so another thing that we were kind of inspired by before we went to uh yosemite was this uh national geographic documentary called oh gosh uh free climb free or... solo free solo okay it oh, was it's like... so good i'm sure people have seen it by now um but it's about this guy alex honold or honold who um who free climbs el capitan which, which has never been done before right so i mean people climb it with ropes and things like that but he like just free climbed it as in just gets out there just a body with like a bag of chalk um and that's it and climbs this monolith which is completely thousands insane. of feet tall so i think i've watched it like four times and every time i'm like oh my gosh it's so scary but we walked over to the base of it and it was kind of a walk up there we were like cutting through all these trees yeah. and actually when you watch it you feel like it makes it look like he just like drives up and gets out and it's like right there and that's kind of what I was expecting but that's not really how it yeah goes. you gotta walk up to it a little bit yeah but it wasn't like a horrible thing it was just kind of funny like well he just drove right up and got out but unless well he I think he went up a different way than where we were um yeah because there's different yeah. there's different signs of what you know like the base of the nose and all this yeah so, so there's different points where you can start and I'm not sure I can't remember what route he picks because there's routes to yeah, get up this and he thing does different things at different times and anything but anyway we walked over and like stood there and did like pictures like of us up you know like looking up the thing and it was just it's kind of crazy how someone would actually do that but and I, I yeah I had seen another documentary called the Don Wall that it's like where the sun first hits El Capitan mm -hmm. and it's like one of the harder like one of the hardest ways to climb up they didn't free climb it but it was like and I saw this guy was also in free solo like as like an advisor oh yeah to this guy and it was like I was like oh yeah there's the guy who did that so you know, look it up. They're actually good documentaries on. I think it's on. Is it on Disney Plus? Right yeah, because it's National Geographic, oh, right. so it's on there. I was gonna say. I know I've watched it three or four times. I'm kind of obsessed with it, and it's very weird. I mean, and then the guy, like after he climbs it, he like gets up there, and then he comes back down, and then he like goes to his van, and he like does pull-ups by his fingers. He like does these fingertip pull-ups. Like 
he spent all this time climbing this thing and they just take all out of you world and then here we are going up the like mist trail and then we come back down and we go like, get some wine <laughs> yeah i know we weren't well, gonna go do some finger i didn't go to my van and do finger pull-ups <laughs> that's for sure but that's <laughs> i went to the store and bought some wine yeah but that's not us so we, yeah we don't right. we don't partake in such things i know whatever but yeah okay funny. so now we're just like oh <laughs> so we're just done yeah and but we, I mean, it was a good day it, we, we had a fantastic day uh so we drove out of the park and then <laughs> your phone i don't know what was wrong with that but it was like we were navigating back to oh. the cabin and it was like 36 minutes left and you know it did not change right like it, we started it and yeah. it's like it didn't change so now it's like every time we yeah, drive Jacob back from the cabin funny. well it was yeah. we're it's like how much time do we have left? 36, 36 minutes, minutes. <laughs> so yeah anyway <laughs> so we got back to the cabin no one thinks we're funny i think i cooked a couple of frozen pizzas and we all ate that yeah i think we just stayed in and ate pizza. one night we had spaghetti one night we had pizza and we just kind of hung out but and then that night we went out and stargazed mm -hmm. which if i would stay out i mean i think we would all stay out longer but we were just so tired that it was like so we did see the milky way we saw that comet and i was all freaked out because under our little cabin front entrance it's like there is things saying oh you know the bats like to hang out in there oh, yeah, and i hate sense. bats oh they scare me to death so i was like oh dear so i kept like we had to go out into the front under the little roof thing to see and I kept like looking up. I was like paranoid. And that's that's the thing with stargazing, especially when it's that dark. It's <laughs> like you don't know what's by your feet. No. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of like that's funny. Like it, oh my gosh, it just kind of freaks me out. Like I was paranoid. I don't know what I think thought was gonna like come out and eat me or whatever, mm -hmm. but uh, it was yeah. Yeah. It was not okay. But anyway, so that was our first two days in Yosemite. The next day we would travel to up to Glacier Point and then Mariposa Grove, which we will talk about on the next episode. And then our journey, our long, long journey home. Right. So that wraps it up. So what did you think of our first two days in Yosemite? That was exhausting, but fun and yeah. pretty. Yeah, I'm glad we did that i'm glad that i would drag myself up there yeah so we will be back next week for another episode next since, week yeah since we were late this week oh, we're okay. just i'm i don't really want to push that other one back so okay we'll get it out to you guys and right. so look forward to that thank you all for listening and be sure to follow us on instagram and uh at jcation adventure or at oh at jcation travel mm -hmm. And on Twitter and YouTube, the show also goes on YouTube if you prefer to listen to it there. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. So, right. oh, and be sure to watch us for our Arizona trip. We'll be doing lots of fun, you know, little. Maybe we'll do some live things. And time. Yeah, yeah. So look forward to that. And thanks for listening. Say bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. <laughs> bye, everybody.